It's a morning when so many of us woke up in a New York state of mind. Our stomachs filled with butterflies knowing one of the world's biggest marathons was just hours away. All right, we're getting ready to make our way to the Staten Island Ferry, heading to the starting line with us, some members of the team. They are bundled up, they're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. We hopped in a cab outside our hotel near Central Park. Are you nervous? A little. What's going through your head right now? Um, that I need to run 26.2 miles. Right. It's really <laughs> not the 26 that's bad. It's that point two at the end that okay. really gets you. All right. The journey to the start of the big race in Staten Island is like a marathon in itself for nearly 50,000 runners from around the world. The trip to the starting line lasted a few hours. From the cab ride to the ferry, eventually we hopped on buses where we were shuttled to the start. All of us trying to stay warm in a wind chill that's in the 30s. We're bundled up in old clothes, items that were donated to charities after the race. <laughs> And before my group of runners took off, a good luck hug from a friend and a familiar face so many of you may remember. WNEP's former Pocono reporter, Regan Meji, who now works for the Weather Channel. Then, that marathon moment, months in the making. As we took off on our 26.2 mile journey across New York's five boroughs, the wind was relentless. At some points, gusting up to 50 miles an hour. Regardless, our Ryan's Run team remembered why we were out here for those patients and allied like Kylie Doherty, Megan Mitchell, and Jake Olmsted. As we made our way toward the finish line in New York Central Park, millions cheered us on. Among them, well-wishers from back home. My morning photographer Corey Burns and I pushed on. And as we neared the end of this 26.2 mile adventure, we finished it like we started, with a sense of humor. Point two to go. Point two. Point two. That's what it's all about right here, right to finish. Thank goodness this isn't 27. I'd be out. No way. I'd be done. No way. Finally. Done. Done. We finished. Medals for WNEP's Ryan's Run Team, but more important, a win for what this campaign is all about. Inspiring fitness, challenging disability, and changing the lives of kids and adults being helped by Allied Services. I'm Ryan Leckie, Newswatch 16.